Hello? Oh, God, it's all going off. Fuck, where are we at? It's finest, I can tell you. So, today is Tuesday, <clears throat> six minutes past eight in the morning. I'm stuck in traffic. And I've been for the last, oh, I don't know, half hour, I don't know, something like that. Um, more than that. <laughs> It's only a short stretch of road, but it's been stop-start all the way. So yesterday, I didn't start until late because I had lots of time to repay. So uh, I had to be in Southall, uh, West London, Hayes, Middlesex area, um, just just round the corner from Heathrow. And I had to be there for lunchtime, 12 o'clock. Brilliant. So late start. And uh, I knew where I was going. I've been there before. And from what I remember, it was, I think it was always a fairly long tip in there, but they were good as gold. They were really nice, friendly people. So I thought, well, let's try me, just chance me on. Let's get up there an hour earlier and see if they'll get me tipped then. So got up there for 11. Yep, no problem coming in. The yard was empty. Get on a bay. More coffee. Oh, cheers. Thank you very much. Yeah, come on in. So, do you know what I mean? Real nice place, really friendly, lads in there. It was a three hour tip, I don't mind, you know, it's fine by me. Three hour tip, come out, all the way back down, and I knew I was having to go to this container yard, which is notorious for having to fucking wait around. And there I sat, I had to get a box off, my empty box off, and I had to get a loaded box on out of there. So I got the empty box off, and then you got to go round the loop again to get the get the uh, loaded box on. And there I sat, not one hour, two hours, not three hours, not four hours, but five and a quarter right hours. And take the third exit, M27, towards London. Five and a quarter fucking hours to get a box on. We get a box off and a box on. Five and a quarter hours. What a waste of time. You know, that it doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't cost me anything. But it costs the company. And I wasn't the only one in there, so there's lots of us that are all in the same boat. All their companies are having to pay for our time whilst we sit in there doing absolutely nothing, basically being held ransom because of their inefficiency. So there I sat, five and a quarter hours, and if I'd have gone in and got the box off in a reasonable amount of time, I could have made my, my booking in time for this morning. Well, it would have been tight, but it, I would, it would have been doable with a nine off. But as it is, I had a, a nine off, well, yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. I did have a nine off, um, but I didn't get back to the yard, and my car didn't go in until 7 o'clock this morning. And I was supposed to be an hour and a half up the road by half past four. My car didn't go in until seven, so you can see how late I'm going to be. So when I get there, I don't even know if they'll accept me. So, um, who knows? Who knows? So I've got no idea why that traffic was like that all the way through there. There doesn't appear to be any rhyme or reason whatsoever. There's a broken down truck there. But that's it. Take the exit, M27, then take the motorway. away. And there's more fuck we up here we've got to deal with. They're doing road works. But yeah, that was just a complete and total waste of time. I got bucked at the yard at about 20 to 10 last night. I should have been I should have been done by five o'clock, just after. <laughs> got an eleven off and then got on the road. Um, something's 
vibrating somewhere, but I don't know where. So, I don't know, I, I just, it just mystifies me. So anyway, we're, you know, we're heading up the road, we're north band. We're only going up to Bracknell. I've already had words for the office, because I was supposed to be coming. After this Bracknell job, at half past four in the morning, but now it's quarter past eight and I'm nowhere near yet. Um, I was supposed to be coming back down here and going into that same container yard again, swapping boxes and going off to do a job. Traffic on the 3090 coffee link and will drift two minutes delay. And loading at half past one and that's another hour and a half, two hours away. Uh, and that just isn't going to happen. <laughs> so I phoned them up today changing that. I don't know, I might get up there still, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the score is. I give up really. Just whichever way the wind's blowing, I'm being blown. There's bloody traffic look. I reach my leisure battery went flat on my caravan so I went to recharge it and uh, it was having none of it so 120 quid later I'm on with a new one uh, and then uh, we had fun and, uh, fun and games trying to install a bike rack um, we've already got one that sits on the tow bar but when you've got a caravan that doesn't quite work so I had to get another one but you see it's on the back window of the Merc, on the ML, and uh, it, it was just bloody, it was awkward. It's, there's no way you could do it on your own. You needed two people. And the gorgeous Kira has managed now to put her back out. After half a mile, oh, take the exit, four, M27, towards Winchester, then take the move away. So we went out Friday for a few beers and a booby, because I just fancied having a few beers. Take the exit, four, then take the move away. There's a new Indian restaurant opened up, um, so we thought we'd give them a try. Bloody lovely. Really, really good. Proper, proper. Yeah, I was very impressed. And they were busy as well, and the food and the service was still excellent. So if they can do that when they're absolutely flat out, then, um, you know, you know their food's good. I was speaking to the owner, apparently he's got, this is his uh, third, <coughs> third, um, third restaurant. So he's obviously doing something right. Now, normally get into the right hand lane down here. As I come round here, try to get over into the right hand lane, because that spits me out into the correct lane for uh, when I get onto the uh, bottom of the M3 here. But, there's roadworks, and they've changed the lane, uh, the um, lane markings. So now I can stay in this lane. I discovered that yesterday. Thrusters on. Let 
you want me for letting me out? Keep right. See, you'd expect this level of traffic on a weekday at 20 past 8 in the morning, but this is what it was like on Sunday. So we're going straight out the M3. Follow M3 towards Winchester for 25 miles. Low traffic on M3, E05, traffic jam ahead, between A335 Albrook Way and Baldrove, 5 minutes delay. So that's what I mean, I've got no idea where that is. I know there's a delay and it's somewhere up ahead, but give me a couple of road names of a place that I'm not familiar with, how would you know? I think somebody asked me the other day about uh, what sat nav do I use? Well, in, in the in the <coughs> new Actros, I've got a built-in sat nav, truck nav. Um, it's TomTom -tom based, and it works reasonably well. Every now and again, it'll take me on a, an obscure route, um, <coughs> but I also use Google Maps, not to go by, but. To, just to check out um, road closures, things like that, and I also use Google Satellite to um, in Street View for checking in where I've got to go into if I haven't been there before, just to have a look to see what the roads are like, the width, and stuff like that. You can also check out bridge heights and width restrictions. And uh, if I'm really not sure, I'll check a uh, I've got a Phillips Road Atlas, a uh, truck atlas paper, you know, old school, and I'll check that as well, because um, that shows all the bridges um, and weight restrictions. So, the combination of uh, all of that sort of keeps me fairly straight and narrow. Prior to going into this truck, I bought, a, it was an X Goody G-O O-D-Y um, it's a, it's a Chinese copy, you know, it's cheap, it's, it's like 40 quid or something, but it, and that, there was a few places where it didn't like, it didn't like Uxbridge for some bizarre reason, it was like, Uxbridge was the Bermuda Triangle, Uxbridge, Hayes, Southall, all around there, forget it, it was just, didn't like the area, no idea, and Enfield, didn't like Enfield, <laughs> everywhere else, it was absolutely fine, it, it always worked for me, did what it was supposed to do when it was supposed to do it, it yeah it worked well um, I've still got it now I've got it, as a, got it in the truck as a backup so yeah that's what I use I see brake lights Another example where the slow lane is actually going faster than any of the other lanes. <laughs> That's because of all of the fuck with it sat in the fucking outside lane, isn't it? Oh, you knobbers. She's doing all the braking for me, good girl. So they're doing these roadworks now, and these roadworks along here are supposed to be like this until next July. So we've got a year of this now. A year of fuckwittery trying to get out of Southampton. 
love it. And they decided to start right at the beginning of the holiday season. Couldn't make it up, could you? Slow traffic on M3, E05, traffic jam ahead, between A335 Lee Road and Baldrith, three minutes delay. We can cope with three minutes. So I hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, yeah. Gorgeous Kira doing her back in that put paid to uh, that went Saturday morning, first thing Saturday morning. So that was another weekend of not being able to do a great deal. Which is a bit, a bit rubbish. Dude, I know my sleep patterns all over the place. Absolutely appalling at the moment. Here we go. So like I said, bro, I'm going today, I've been there before, so um This is the place where I was, I was parked in a bay and there was a, across the yard, it's on a slope and the slope slopes back towards the bays and there was a van parked up the top and I saw it slowly start to move and I hadn't, I hadn't been really paying attention, I was reading or watching something and I uh, so it, saw it start to move, <clears throat> didn't really think much of it, and it was going really slow. It was only a little gradient, but it started picking up a bit of speed. And uh, I suddenly realised that I could see him because it was over to my left. I could see him, there was nobody in the driving seat. What had happened it was a really windy day and they'd left the fucking handbrake off. And it, was, it was rolling back towards, luckily it wasn't rolling back towards me. It was over a bit to the left, but it was rolling back towards the base. And I quickly jumped out and managed to stop it. Fucking hell. I, I, it was only pure chance that I looked up, something, you know, it must have caught my eye. But that would have taken some explaining. I'd, if that had just carried on, it could have crushed someone, could have killed someone. If they hadn't been watching.
two pound a litre, means that everyone can still afford to drive, look. It ain't affecting that many people yet. And that is why the government won't do anything. In, filter in, but put your foot down. There you go. No, no, filter in now. Let it sit out there. There you go. Say thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. <coughs> I've got a thank you. Didn't think I was going to get that. She didn't look the time. Like that car's got a splendid pair of check trousers on. Is that vibration coming from? Don't like it. Is that free of traffic then? Right, 
looks like we're free and easy. We're going to pull in just to uh, just to see. So I can't remember whether I pull off. I might not be able to get parked. It's, it's, there isn't a lot of parking here. I can't remember whether I come off after Fleet or before Fleet. And there isn't a lot of parking in Fleet, to be honest. So uh, we we'll give Winchester a go. warm day today I think well comfortable just a couple of weeks now until I go on holiday got this week to get through and next week and that's it steeper than you think it is. Doesn't look much of a gradient at all but um, drop down to 48 there. Well, let's just pull into the services here. Like I said I need to go to the loop. I'm sort of due in there now if I kept going at half nine and uh, we said ten so yeah I've got a bit of a uh, Better leeway. It's like I always say, I get it when I get it. You know, it's just always trying my best. I don't, you know, I don't dawdle along. I just do what I do. You get it when you get it. You can't teleport yourself somewhere. And if they don't like it, well, unlucky. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, I'm just going in, I'll go to the toilet and I'll get going again. It's not like I'm taking a 45. But at the end of the day, if you need to go to the toilet, you need to go to the toilet. We're pretty light. So nice and easy on the way in here. 30. Don't really want to be doing 30 around here. Three. Arr. 
we got? Oh, some on the end here. Bit of luck. Oh, some in the middle, even. Even better. Do me, nice one. Cyril, let's have another go. Boy. Right, I'll speak to you all in a bit. <laughs>